Here are a few more simple methods you can use to calculate the angles that you might need for a guardrail or even your hand railing. And even though I made a similar video to this, I thought that I would make one specifically for hand railing and guard railing, just in case some of the viewers can't find them. So basically what you're going to do is take two boards, and these boards should be the same size, maybe a 1x4, and lay one of the 1x4s on top of the stairway like this, and the other on top of the floor or the landing. And then just simply mark the bottom. We're going to mark this right here. We're looking for the intersecting points here and here. So mark the bottom and the top with a pencil. And that should look something like this. Then we're going to go to the other side and do the same thing. We're going to mark this section right here. And then we're going to mark the bottom down here. And then that's going to provide us with these marks. And then we're simply going to draw a line from this point to this point here. This will be the angle we're going to need for our hand railing and possibly the top of our guard railing. And this will make a little more sense when we take a look at the angle here and the angle here. I'm going to go ahead and line everything up so that it will make a little more sense to you. So again, we have this angle here from this board, and then this angle here from this board here. And believe it or not, these are actually the same angles on each board. However, it won't provide us with the angle here or the angle here. We're going to need to do something a little different there. And since these are pretty much the only two angles you're going to need to build a guardrail or a handrail like this one here, or most guardrails and hand railing miter cuts where they join something like this or something like this, then this project just got a whole lot easier. And to figure out this angle here and the angle for our balusters, we're simply going to grab another piece of wood, set it on top of the stairway, and then use a level or a straight edge if that will work for your project. We're basically looking for a plumb line coming off of the top of the stair steps with our board here. And we can mark either side of the level. Let's go ahead and remove the level so you can get an idea of the line here. And you could also use a framing square if the landing or floor is level and the stair steps have the same measurements for the risers and the treads. This might not work as well if your stairway isn't built correctly. So if you do have a problem with some of these angles, that might be the reason why. Let's go ahead and cut our board and then kind of line it up here, give you an idea of how it's going to work out. For some of you who are imagining, how are we going to get this to work over here? We're just simply going to flip it around, turn it around until everything works out here. And obviously you're not going to have this right here because it hasn't been built yet. But I wanted to leave it in there to give you an idea of how everything's going to work out in case you're having a difficult time visualizing the assembly process and how some of the angles are going to be the same and some of them are going to be different. So basically what we're looking at here is a 90 degree angle here, 90 degree angle for our balusters here, again 90 degrees top and bottom cuts, and then we have the angles here so that these boards will miter together, and then the baluster boards at the top and the bottom will be the same, along with the upper and lower rails if they're going to connect into a newel post. And for those of you who need the angle, just simply grab a protractor or a speed square and then line it up with the line on the board. And then it looks like we have about 32 and a half degrees, maybe 32 and a quarter, but it is going to be 32 and a half because I already checked with the software protractor that I have to find the angles here. And for those of you who are interested in learning how we can use math to figure this out, feel free to leave those comments in the comment area, along with any questions you have about this video, and I will answer them as soon as possible.